Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to take a look at this. This is the MZS portable power station that I bought off of Amazon. And the reason I bought this is if you guys remember a couple months ago, we did a video where I reviewed the EcoFlow River Pro power station, which is fantastic, but it's like almost $700. That's a considerable expense that I know a lot of us aren't willing to make for a backup power station. This guy, on the other hand, I bought off of Amazon. When I bought it, it cost $125. And uh, maybe more expensive now, but that's the price I paid for it. It is uh, 222 watt hours, 60,000 milliamp hours of lithium battery. It has a 110 volt, uh, 200 watt pure sine wave AC output, USB type C, 12 volt light outdoor backup supply. And you can see here, if you look, we look, let's start at the top. There is a uh, inductive charging pad if your phone or device has that capability. We have our American style plug here. We have a USB type C, a USB. Uh, quick charge another quick charge then we have these barrel jacks here 12 volt 12 volt we have our charge port now if you fell for my clickbaity title there's a reason for that it has to do with these two switches right here if you were to use this device in your car with flashing red and blue lights I know in Ohio you would be pulled over and probably arrested for impersonating a police officer. You are not allowed to have flashing red or blue lights in your car in Ohio. But this does have some other uh, interesting light functions. We have a very bright light. Then this one is a very cool color. There's a warm color. Then we're back to our light there. We also have this nice little pin light light here. Does a little SOS job. And I'm sure you can see pretty well here. We have our watt output, our charge meter, and how long it's going to last. Okay, we're good and charged here. So what do you say we power up the AC have a look at what the waveform looks like and get a little voltage reading off of it. Make sure our meter's in AC. Look at these probes in here. There's some sort of a protection shroud in here. There we go. Now we're in. And AC is on. What are we getting? 115.7. Right. Let's see if we can't get a look at the waveform here. Yeah, we'll bring up an auto set. Yeah, it is a, it's not too bad. Uh, channel 1, 10x, are we on 10x? Yes, we are. 60 hertz, peak to peaks, 346 volts. It's not. Whoops. There we go. It's not the cleanest sine wave I've ever seen, but compared to old school inverters, this is absolutely fine. So, very pleased with that. So, as you can see, it does output a very nice sine wave, and the voltage is right in line for what we do here in the U.S. I know it's really hard to see. But that little AC is lit up there. We'll turn that off. So I figured next, 
we could bring in one of these guys and we'll have a look at how it handles power. So let's hook it up here. Turn on the USB. You can see we're getting 5.16 volts out of there. Alright, let's turn this up some. Get some drain on it. There you can see we're outputting 5 watts. And it is still at 5.1 volts. 0.94 amps. So let's turn it up a little bit more. There's 10 watts. And we're still getting 5.8 volts. So let's turn this up to a level about 2.5 amps or so. Which should put us right where you're charging a modern day smartphone. So we are outputting 13 watts, 5.0708 volts, 2.46 amps, and it says it can do this for another 16 hours. So very cool and no worries there whatsoever okay so size wise <clears throat> if we look at this we are looking at about 70 centimeters or did I do that wrong? yeah 170 centimeters or about seven inches tall, 120 centimeters, or four and three quarter inches deep, uh, about 120 centimeters. four and three quarter inches wide weighs a couple pounds and it's got this nice leather top on it okay I'm not going to tear this down because it is either glued or ultrasonically welded together and I can't get it open plus I want to use it so we'll look here and you can see it includes short circuit protection, overload protection, over charge protection, over current protection, over discharge protection, over temperature protection, and under voltage protection. And if you look in here, you can see it's made up of banks of uh, what are probably 18650s. And another thing, just giving you some more info on the front. So yeah, I've only had this for about a week and I have been playing with it. Now it gives you multiple ways to charge. You can charge it from your car, you can charge it from a solar panel, or you can charge it with the built-in charger. All in all, very cool. And we can see it has a four-star rating. So if we come down here, only one review. That's interesting. Oh, okay. See more reviews. I was going to say that's interesting because there's four. Okay. So that guy gives it five stars. Huh. Only one review, but it's got four stars, and this guy says five. Interesting. Anyway, he says it meets all his expectations. So, very good. So for the price, I am uh, pretty happy with this guy. Going to have to give it some time to see how she behaves. But I don't expect any trouble with it. I mean, I've had power banks for four or five years with no trouble. But I will report back to you guys in a few months and let you know how she's uh, hanging and how everything's working. I want to 
thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this little video i hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace